A story you'll see only on five. The sugar industry in the Glades responding to criticism that it's to blame for the algae crisis and for not allowing discharges from Lake Okeechobee to flow into the Everglades. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan has sugar side of the story tonight and a reaction from environmentalists. Alex. Well, Jay, U.S. Sugar is one of the world's largest sugarcane producers. Their primary goal is to protect their farmland, but they also say they want to work with all sides in stopping discharges from Lake Okeechobee. Around Lake Okeechobee. Producers of our nation's food. We produce a lot of the winter vegetables. Agriculture is everything. Produce 25% of the nation's sugar. At the heart of the glades in Clewiston is U.S. Sugar Corporation. If we don't have farmland, we don't have farmers, then we don't have food. Judy Sanchez wants to protect what's important to the glades. I think there's a lot of unnecessary finger pointing. She's talking about blame from environmentalists as those discharges continue east and west from Lake Okeechobee. Really slow, so. And businesses like Ohana Surf Shop in Martin County suffer and call for a solution. Obviously our ultimate goal is to send the water south. Back along the lake, Sanchez and U.S. Sugar are on board with Senate Bill 10 to build that reservoir south of the lake to store water, but are lobbying for other projects they say are more important, like water storage north of the lake. We are involved in every effort to help build solutions north of the lake, south of the lake, east and west of the lake. There's a potential to do that. Mark Perry with Florida's Oceanographic Society is a supporter of sending the water south. He would like to see Big Sugar work with environmentalists to fix this issue. They need to cooperate, sit around a table, let's talk this over, see if what their sincerity is as far as helping the situation. And that's something Sanchez and U.S. Sugar are willing to do. Build projects that fix our problems. Sanchez says she would like to see more action, possibly on those deep injection wells and also septic to sewer conversions as well in Martin County. In the newsroom, Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5. We have